ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Melania Trump. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. I'm honored to host everyone at the White House to celebrate you, mothers. Please sit down. <laughs> mother's Day, which is this Sunday, is celebrated just one time per year. I don't know but about all of you, but I think mothers should be celebrated each and every day. As a mother myself, I know what goes into raising a child. It takes an incredible amount of strength, a lot of time, a generous amount of patience, and all of your love. As moms, we are so incredibly privileged to be able to bring children into this world and be part of helping them grow into adults. Children bring us endless amount of both joy and fear. They fill us with pride, through their three arms, and they love us in a manner that only other mothers can understand. Because of the powerful bond between a mother and her child, when they feel emotions, so do we, whether they are happy or nervous, sad or excited, we feel those things with them. I think it is one of the most powerful and beautiful parts of motherhood. Today, I want to take this opportunity to let you all know that as a mothers who are members of the military community, you deserve recognition for not only your love for your chi chi children, but for the ded dedication and sacrifice you make on behalf of our country each and every day. I know I speak on behalf of my husband, the Vice President and Mrs. Pence, when I tell you how much this administration supports all those who serve, which includes not only those who are enlisted, but their families too. In closing, I want to thank you all for your unique roles as a military mother, whether you are enlisted, actively serving, or if you have a child in our military, you are such a special part of this country for all that you give. I hope you enjoy today's performance by the United States Army Tours, and we are so honored to have you here today. Before I turn this over to my husband, I want to thank our second lady, Karen Pence, as well as Kellyanne and Ivanka, for all of the hard work they have done on the executive order he will be signing. Because of your commitment to the military, there will be more opportunities for military spouses who are looking for jobs within federal government. Thank you, ladies, for your hard work on this important topic. Thank you all again for being here today. And now it is my pleasure to introduce my husband, the President of the United States. Well, thank you very much, Milana. She's become a very, very popular First Lady. I'm reading that. I'm reading. I'm seeing all those stories, and they love Melania. And thank you, Karen and Karen and Ivanka and Kelly, and thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. To all of the military spouses here with us this afternoon, welcome to the White House, a very, very special place. We're honored by your presence, and we celebrate your heroic service, and that's exactly what it is. Too often, military spouses do not receive the recognition they deserve 
Do you know that feeling? Do you know that feeling? I don't think so, no. You endure long separations during deployments, and uh, some of them are much longer than you ever bargained for. You routinely move your families around the country and all over the world. You maintain morale in your family and across the military community. Your support is essential to making our military the mightiest fighting force in the world and getting stronger all the time. We just approved $700 billion for our military. So we're going to be — we're going to be having the best equipment ever now. And next year, $716 billion. I wanted to let you know. And by the way, I know you don't care about this, but that also includes raises for our military. So I know that. First time in 10 years. Your love, resilience, and courage uplifts our heroes and, indeed, our nation. We are forever in your debt. I also want to thank all of the spouses here today who are serving in uniform. You are an inspiration to us all, a great inspiration. Today, Today, I'm here to tell you that my administration is totally committed to every family that serves in the United States Armed Forces. That is why, earlier this year, I was proud to sign that big pay raise that I've already spoken about. And I am proud of it. And I guess there'll be others, too. Would you like one sooner, or do you want to wait another 10 years? I don't know. We're also taking action to expand employment opportunities for our great military spouses. And I know what you've gone through. The competence is so high, and yet it's so difficult. That's not going to happen anymore. One of the things that helps is our tremendous uh, job situation in the United States. We just hit 3.9 percent unemployment, which is the biggest of this century, the best of this century. So that helps. That really helps a problem. But even beyond that, you're going to be given treatment like never before. As you know, the unemployment rate among military spouses, of whom more than 90 percent are women, is estimated to be four times higher than the unemployment rate that I just spoke of. But we are going to change that, and we are going to change it as quickly as we can. It will go fast. You've seen what we've done, and we will do it. We get it done. We're working with states across the country to encourage them to remove licensing barriers so that spouses who work in careers such as teaching, nursing, and law, many others also, can get a job in their profession no matter where they move. And in just a moment, I will take executive action to promote military spouse hiring across the federal government, something that people have wanted presidents to do for a long time. Military spouses have already shown the utmost devotion to our nation, and we want to show you our devotion in return. We will now ensure that you have better access to federal jobs. By taking this action today, we are leading by example and encouraging American businesses across the country to expand job opportunities for our incredible and talented and highly educated military spouses. This includes opportunities to work remotely, which technology, as you know, has made more possible and more of everything in life possible than ever before. America owes a debt of gratitude to our military spouses. We can never repay you for all that you do. We know what you do, and your spouse knows what you do. We can never repay you for that. But we can and we will give you the opportunities you deserve. Today, we take one of many important actions to ensure that you are free to pursue your careers, support your families, and continue serving this nation that we all love so much. When you are strong, your families are strong, and America thrives. 
Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you very much for all you do. Thank you very much. Thank you.